everyone, so today I'm doing a really pretty kind of fawn, bambi, deer look, whatever you want to call it. This again is not my complete original idea or anything. I got a ton of requests from you guys to recreate this look. I've seen so many girls do it and it's just basically the most perfect Halloween look ever in my opinion. This is definitely what I'm going as for Halloween. I think it's so beautiful and so fun and so playful. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you how I did it and if you want more inspiration, just search um, fawn makeup or deer makeup on Google and you'll get heaps and heaps of inspiration. <laughs> Remember to tag me in your photos on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and everything if you do try this out for Halloween. I'd love to see your recreations. My little deer antler things are from Etsy. I just searched deer antler headband and it came up. There's a bunch of different ones to choose from. So just have a look around on Google and Etsy and everything. First I'm using the serum by L'Oreal I think and I'm applying this all over my skin. And then I'm using a primer after that. Prime Time by Benefit. It's just really neutralizing, so I love it because I've got a lot of redness in my skin. Now take one of your favorite foundations and apply this all over your skin, just like you normally would for any kind of makeup look. I'm using Giorgio Armani today. And then after that, I'm taking a really, really, really tiny little beauty blender oh my gosh I'm so tongue-tied um, and some white face paint and just dabbing that over my nose under my eyes and over most of my forehead and then once I've done that I'm going to set it with a white eyeshadow just so it stays in place all day and then obviously after that go in and powder the rest of your face as you normally would Now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and using the darkest shade to contour my face. You can use any contour powder you want or even an eyeshadow. I'm using quite a warm toned colour just because it's similar to the colour of a deer, obviously. Um, and I'm putting that around my forehead, temples, around my nose and I'm also going to be using this on my eyes today. I'm being very heavy handed with this but I'm focusing it in my crease and I'm flaring it out a little bit and I'm also bringing it down the sides of my nose in that contour area so just kind of play around with it you can see where I'm putting it just down my nose in the sockets of my eyes and flaring it out and then I'm using a white eye not eyeliner what eyeshadow all over my lids I probably should have used a primer but YOLO and then I'm using some white base underneath my eyes to make it a really really vibrant white I'm winging it out a little bit on the inner corner because I'm going to emphasize that shape with a dark brown eyeliner um, just because I want that really really intense almond shaped eye like a deer um, it's just really emphasizing that and yeah you'll see what I'm doing just watch Now I'm going to begin working on my nose. I'm just doing a little cute tip of the nose with that same dark brown eyeliner. You can totally use a black if you would like. I just think brown looks more complimentary and less harsh. Um, and I'm just doing a typical nose shape, I don't know. And I'm also running this down the bottom of my eyebrows. And then I'm taking my normal eyebrow color on the top of my eyebrows just so it doesn't look too insanely harsh because I don't want black looking eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? I'm also bringing that same color down the sides of my nose and I'm starting quite, you know, pale with it, light handed, I guess is the better word. Um, and then I'm going to deepen it up as you can see here. And I'm bringing that into the contour lines of my nose up into my brow bone. And then after that, I'm taking white and I'm just emphasizing that white under my eyes again because it's kind of faded away a little bit. So I'm just brightening it back up. You know what I mean? <laughs> If you are going to do this look, 
the best eyelashes you can go for are the wild one by exo beauty look how perfect these look i'm flipping them upside down so applying them upside down right on that lash line and they're gonna look like little wispy lower lashes like really 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 beautiful little deer lashes you know how they kind of flare out sideways i think they're perfect and then because my natural eyelashes are quite long and covered in white i'm going to cover the tips of them in black mascara just to kind of hide them a bit I am also applying fake eyelashes on the top lash line. These are the Prima Donna by EXO Beauty. They're so pretty and just flare out near the ends on the outer edges, I should say. And they just look really, really cute with this look. Now taking a short eyeshadow shader brush by EXO Beauty and a really, really dark warm tone of brown, I'm going to cut my crease a little bit. So I'm just flipping the brush upside down and dragging the color from my crease up. And this is just going to really add a ton of dimension and look really, really striking and beautiful. So I'm doing that all the way in, all the way into towards my nose and that bone there. And then I'm also going to run it down the sides of my nose and blend that out. Next, take a jumbo eyeshadow pencil in milk. And I'm literally just popping it down on my face and twisting and it leaves a perfect circle. And then I'm taking a pinky nude lipstick. You can take, take whatever lipstick shade you would like. Um, I just think this looks really pretty. Peachy nude, you know. And that is your finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really, really love it and I had so much fun doing it. It took about an hour or just over an hour just for time reference if you're wanting to do this. Make sure you have plenty of time because you really want to make sure all the edges are nice and sharp and perfect. And I think next time it'll come out even better because this was the very first time I ever tried doing it. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Feel free to share it on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, everywhere like that. I would really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bruce, I kind of feel like just dripping some water on my face. <coughs> what a waste. <laughs> It's taking a bit of tissue and we're going to see if it transfers off now that my face is literally dripping wet. So some of my mascara came off but none of my foundation did. The tiniest little bit came off my forehead but I don't know, it seems quite cool. Obviously you can't just expect to spray a little bit of this on your face and then go swimming and it just...